So we've been fermenting inside the berry for the last seven days. And this is the first time we've actually physically touched the berries. So this particular plant we're doing at the moment is about splitting the berries and releasing all of the red juice. So this fermenter over here is quite different. It's been whole bunches and it's been sort of both fermenting inside the bunch as well as the skins around it. We're now trying to break things up a little bit, create some wine and create some juice and you know get the whole thing fermenting and you know release some of the sugar back into that. It's much more red than purple and you know that's sort of a very desirable thing. We're not all that interested in uh, yeah, lots of purple. So today sort of trying to sort of break up and create a bit more juice or a bit more wine and then tomorrow hopefully we'll get some settling in here. See that, see, see the deeper colour in here? So this has been de-stemmed um, and we'll just be giving it a mix so non-aeratively we won't be uh, oxygenating it at all because uh, it hasn't started fermenting yet. It's just to give it a good mix and make sure the cat's wet uh, and then we just chuck some dry ice on there to protect the juice. So this wine's been in here for about four or five days. It's had a cold soak. Um, we just let the wild yeast um, naturally ferment the wine. So this will just be starting to ferment now. So this is still quite cool. This has come out of a cold soak at about 10 degrees and it's probably about 15 at the moment. But once those yeasts get a hold of it and start chomping on those sugars, it, it warms up pretty quickly. Why? Well, you've had that one being plunged almost every day and you haven't... Yeah, well that's whole bunches and we're trying to break them up and get some stem characters and things like that. This is more pure fruit character, so a combination of those two will be lovely. Same vineyard. Okay, go, go, go.